happy Canada Day, belated Canada Day to anybody uh, up here in Canada that we have on July 1st and then happy Independence Day to all those Americans down there that uh, hopefully had a safe party time. I know here everything was shut down for Canada Day. It was very weird not being able to go uh, down to the park like we usually do, but it was still, well, it was a raining day, so it, <laughs> We wouldn't have been very much fun at the park anyways. I'm happy to say that the weather has gotten better. There's clear blue skies today. Um, it's actually, what time is it? It is just after three here right now in Camus. I just thought I'd quickly stop in and do Beans Bag vlog number 10. I actually look, so I actually know what number we are on now. Um, it's been a good week. I was back to work full time. My first full time uh, week back to work since uh, being laid off with uh, the the pandemic and everything going on um, a little bit of a transition as before I was doing my bag business full-time and I was doing some bookkeeping and stuff such uh, for this company part-time from home um, with everything going on uh, they did offer me full-time so I took a full-time position so unfortunately my bags have taken a little bit of a backseat they're my side gig right now I'm still doing it three days a week so I guess it is almost still full-time but I am Monday to Friday nine to five type job right now um doing what I've done for the last 25 years which is admin work but um I have an amazing office mate she and I get along really well we're a small office it's just the two of us and I don't know. It was a, it was a fantastic week. I, I can't say that I'm unhappy with it. It was great. Um, but on that note, I'm also uh, not working on any bag orders right now. Oh my goodness. I just realized how messy it was back there. Please ignore the messiness that is this corner. <laughs> um, that said, I've started taking orders again. I worked down my uh, wait list. I still have five people to contact waiting to hear from a a couple more that I have before I move on to the next. Um, I have a big spoon flour order already ordered up for the first couple orders. So I'm expecting that mid August, which is when I will start uh, my bag making um, again for that. I am booked till the end of January now, I believe for bags. So that's making a bag and a half to two bags a week and then leaving one day of the week for myself, for my own personal sewing. Um, this week I did manage, of course, I didn't grab it. Let me just grab a few things here, one second. Not overly prepared. Oh, I should have showed everybody. So I've been doing a lot of selfish sewing, making my summer wardrobe, which was my goal. So this is, I don't know if you can see it. I'm pretty pleased with it. This is my, can't really see. Sweetie Pad Dress by Ellie and Mac. I like it because it spins out. I have made myself two of these now for myself. Um, I just made myself yesterday this exact same dress. Of course, I didn't bring it out here, but it is done in this fabric, but it's in my closet right now. So I will wear it for the next vlog so I can show it off. It turned out gorgeous 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 so one thing i like to do is i mean we may as well be fashionable um if we're going to be safe i made myself matching masks for my new outfits um it actually gets quite a bit of attention when you go out and you put your mask on at walmart or what have you um when you have coordinating masks everybody's wanting to know what store sells coordinating masks with coordinating outfits i'm like making them for myself um Right now, I'm actually only making clothes for friends and family because I am still learning. Uh, garment sewing is brand new to me. I'm a pro when it comes to quilting and to bag making and that kind of thing, but uh, the garment sewing is new, but I'm enjoying it. I've made my whole summer wardrobe. Before I get into the bags that I made, I'm gonna show it all off. Um, so I also made myself, let's see if I can stand up. Again, here's the matching mask, but see it's a high-low and it's got like these flutter sleeves. This is a bee dreamy dress. So I've never been into floral fabric, but this year I am loving it. This is a double brush poly. It's gorgeous. This color is like my favorite color. So I'm looking forward to wearing this when it gets just a little bit warmer. It's not quite there yet, but uh, yeah. So I made myself that with the coordinating mask. So 
I, I love it. It's, it's so pretty. And then if you follow my Facebook page, you've probably noticed um, when I'm learning to make new things, my family benefits. So I went ahead and made my mom. This is a tunic length of the exact same dress that I'm wearing, but it's a tunic length. So it's, it's, it's a little bit shorter, but this is her sweetie pie tunic and it's got like these little white flowers on it. So that turned out really super cute. And I have a matching mask for it somewhere. I just don't know where I got to. I'm going to have to find that. Um, and then this morning I also made, this is for my sister-in-law. Uh, she is a runner and they're actually visiting from Vancouver. We're just about to head over to my parents' place to have um, a crab and oyster feast because they brought up some fresh seafood from Vancouver. So um, yeah, I'm really looking forward to that. But she is a jogger. So I made her this tank hoodie and it has an open back. So it'll be perfect for her running. I showed against my body, but she's a lot smaller than I am. Hopefully <laughs> my my self confidence is that way. But um, I just finished this today, so I hope she likes it. And then for my brother, um, he had his uh, birthday back at March 27th, but because of the COVID, I couldn't see him. I told him I like to make his presents, so I gave him the choice where I can make him another bag. But he has so many of my toilet treats bags that. I'm sure he didn't need another one or I said I can make him a hoodie he chose the hoodie but of course I had to wait until I went and visited him three weeks ago so I could get his measurements so I knew um, what size to make him so I made him this hoodie here and it's got like this so yeah so it's made out of this jersey knit fabric where it's kind of warm but it keeps moisture away from the body it's like not super hot but it's not um something it, it'll be great for vancouver weather for him so i'm hoping he will like that My, very very belated present but he will be getting that so yeah that that was my makes um for this week for clothing wise i did manage to get one bag in i finally got to tracy's Davina bag in this awesome vintage Mickey Mouse fabric. This is uh, um, the dark gray uh, vinyl from Emmeline Bags, and then the uh, um, gunmetal hardware and everything on that. So I also did, did a tutorial making this bag. I was so bummed out because for some reason, and I better not be doing it right now, my phone decided, it recorded all my audio, but the screen was blank just white for my last two um two segments so i still posted it i don't know it is what it is at least some things got out of it I, I hope people got stuff out of it so this is the divina bag i believe this one is i can't believe i think it's 165 maybe 175 i'm not sure but it's an awesome bag you got these two pockets here right there and then it's got a recess zipper and then inside, I didn't do it just like the pattern. Um, I got to two slip pockets on this side. In the pattern, there's a pen pocket, but I didn't want to do that. And then the one zipper pocket. So this is actually going off to Tracy tomorrow. I'll be delivering it to her. So I think it turned out so super cute. And it's apparently going to Disneyland with her when Disneyland reopens. So. I think that'll be the perfect bag for her. So that is the only bag that I made all week. I mainly did clothing, but I only really had a day and a half to sew. So, but I made all those clothes in a day and a half, which is amazing. And I feel really accomplished that way. I do have one more bag on order, which I will be doing on either Friday afternoon or Saturday. And that's Alana's Hey Mercedes bag. It's a so sweetness bag. So that one is coming up. Um, she's got some really pretty pastel. I know I've talked about it in, in my past vlog, but very excited to get that to her. And then I got some amazing news. Um, I actually was talking to Sammy from Shabella Bag Patterns uh, this morning, and she has asked me to be her official Shambhala Patterns YouTuber for her 
Bag Tutorials. So I am so incredibly excited about this. She is by far one of my favorite uh, bag uh, designers. Um, I've made uh, the Molly bag. I've actually, for her tutorials that I have online, I have the Molly bag and the Violetta bag. And the Violetta bag actually is coming for release. I asked her, I think she said it was the 20, oh my gosh, I can't remember if it's the 25th, the 26th or the 28th of July. But one of those days is the day where that Violetta bag pattern um, will be on her website in her shop. So you'll be able to buy that, um, that pattern it is an amazing pattern that's the one where i did in the in the the rainbow with the with the rainbow splotted paint corker so i'm very excited about that so i do have two of her tutorials already you're going to see uh, the video art change because we're going to change them to the shambhala uh, video art for each of those uh, tutorials i do i still will be doing other designers tutorials i'm just going to be concentrating on the shambhala ones over the summer because um I'm just so pleased that she chose me. So coming up this month, um, I actually had requests for the Yana bag. Um, I'm hopeful to get the Yana bag. Actually, the Yana bag won't come first. It'll be the Chloe bag, which is just coming for re-release. She's releasing it now in German as well as English. And I really need to write down what uh, language she does her patterns in because I don't remember. So I'm going to be doing the Chloe bag, which is coming for re-release on July 8th. So it will be released on my channel just shortly after um, that pattern release. Um, on her website, you'll also be able to find links to my... Uh, to my tutorials that I do for Shambhala on there, as well as I believe she says that she's gonna include them in the pattern. So I'm just over the moon joyed and Sammy is just such a sweet, sweet, sweet lady. And I'm just so happy that she chose me to, to represent uh, her pattern. So what I'm gonna to try to do is a lot of the time when I'm doing the patterns, I'm going to do the tutorial with the first time I'm doing the pattern. That way, what I like to do, especially if you're a beginner or if it's the first time you've done it, I'm gonna hit those roadblocks where um, for that everybody else is gonna hit when they're first doing a, a pattern for the first time. So I can explain how I work through them and how it goes and hopefully they will just go smoothly, which would be great. So yeah, I'm excited. I'm gonna do the Chloe bag. I'm gonna get the Emmeline, uh, my Emmeline bags, uh, my Emmeline hardware order in so I can uh, do that bag. Um, yeah, so stay tuned because that's coming up. Uh, after that, I'm gonna do the Yana bag. I've had many requests for the, the Yana bag. It's kind of like a bucket bag. It's a smaller bag. It's super cute. So that's gonna be my second Shambhala bag I'm gonna do for July. Um, and then my third one for July, I'm gonna do a Solange, I can't pronounce this, Solange bag. Um, it was released a, a little while ago as well. I'm going to be using this really cool, uh, it's actually going to be my Halloween purse or I may sell it. I have enough material that I can make more if anybody wanted one, but I have this really cool, I should show you, um, zombie pinup girl fabric. I just have to decide who I'm going to do. This is, a, I think this is Henry Alexander, but look how cool this fabric is. So she's my favorite. I think she might be accented on one side of the bag. And then, I don't know. I'm thinking it might be this one for the other side of the bag. It's one thing with this fabric is you cut it up because you fussy cut it, but this is going to be it. I've got some forest green vinyl that I, um, I got in, uh, that I found at a store that I think is gonna be great. So that's gonna be my Solange bag and my Halloween bag, which I'm excited about. Not sure what fabrics I'm going to do those other two bags in, but we'll get them done. Um, and then in August, I'm hoping to get the Simona bag done. I do have an order for a Pandora bag, so I made many of those, but I'm going to save that tutorial until I'm making Sheena's Pandora bag. So we will get that done as well as a Gracie bag. So those are, I think that's six or seven tutorials that I'm hoping that's my goal for myself to get out over the summer. So Please, please, if you haven't already, like, subscribe to my channel. It's grown so much in the last week. I just went from like 120 to over or, or so to over 400. I think what, last I looked, we're at 429 or something like that. So 
I'm almost halfway there to get monetized. I got to get to 1,000 subscribers in order to be able to do live. And I'd love to be able to do, go live and do some live tutorials and actually do my blogs live. So you can ask questions and or what have you. But right now I record them and then I edit them and then I put them online. So really my goal is to get to a thousand so I can go live. I just think that that would be great, especially from the teaching aspect because uh, we could do some of these tutorials live and as questions come up, you can ask them, I can answer them or we can find the answers together. So that would be great. So start going through my tutorials, watch them through, and then the second time through, make it with me. Um, any suggestions of how it could be, they could be better, please let me know, comment, send me a message. Um, I do have, I have started a Facebook bag making group. If you go to my Facebook business page, which is facebook.com slash beans bag, not with an S, just singular beans bag. Um, and then if you click join group, it'll take you to my bag makers group. So that's slowly growing as well. I'm excited about that. So it's kind of got two ends going on. I've got my bag making business and then I have the bag making community where we could help each other and, and give some hints and pointers. Um, I would also like to welcome um, one great thing about the bag making community is you do make many friends from near and far and I've made a friend in Gloria. We've become uh, quite good Facebook friends. I believe she's down in Georgia, um, but she has agreed to come on and help me moderate my YouTube channel. So when we do get to the point when we are going live, then she can help to make sure there's no people coming in and just spamming stuff because apparently that happens. I don't know. I've never been live on there before. But um, yeah, so she's she's coming on and uh, and she's going to be a moderator on my YouTube channel, which is going to be very helpful to me. And I'm very grateful for her. Um, she's the sweetest lady. So if you see her on there, she's giving tips and trips. She's great. <laughs> um, what else? What else? What else? I think that is all I have for the vlog this time. Um, it's a shorter one. It's only 17 minutes, it looks like. Yeah, so I said I'm heading uh, out to my childhood home. Um, parents have a beautiful backyard. Uh, it's going to be good to see my brother and sister-in-law. They are part of our social bubble. We did go see them three weeks ago, so but now they come here, so that's going to be nice. Um, I'm looking forward to a crab and oyster feast tonight, so that's going to be fantastic. Um, yeah, so that's really all I have. If uh, if you guys have any any questions, feel free to ask. Again, message me on Facebook. Um, leave something in the comments here. Um, I just love that everybody is watching and I am so happy uh, that my channel is growing so much. It's because of you guys. It wouldn't be happening if it wasn't for you. So I'm hopeful that it, by the end of July, I'm going to be to 1,000 subscribers. I'm hoping to get monetized that way. And fingers crossed. Anyways, everybody, please stay safe. Have fun. Um, try to get life a little bit back to normal without going too overboard. I mean, we want to still get rid of this COVID, but uh, sun is shining and do you know what? Things could be a lot worse. So please just just take it day by day and be happy. Um, said I'm, I'm feeling fantastic this week. So I hope everybody else is too. Anyways, I'm going to cut this down for now. Um, and I will see you guys on the next one. Love ya. Bye-bye.